Welcome to the Tenergy channel, where we cover all things related to power. In this video, we'll show you how to recharge the Tenergy's T600 portable power station in five different ways. Let's get started. The first method we're going to cover is how to use the AC power adapter that comes with the T600 portable power station. Connect these two parts together. Then plug this end of the cable into the T600 input port and the other end into an AC wall outlet. Now the screen will show an input wattage value in this location. For this charging method, it'll take about 7 hours to recharge the power station from 0 to 100%. Another method to recharge the T600 is to use a USB-C charging cable with a maximum output of 100 watts. Please note that this is not included when purchasing the power station. To start charging, plug a 100 watt USB-C cable into this USB-C port which is rated for 100 watts input and output. Be sure to pay special attention that it is the bottom USB-C port and not the top one, which is also a USB-C port, but its max output is only 20 watts power delivery, not 100 watt like the bottom one is. It'll take about seven hours, just like the previous method, to recharge the power station from zero to 100%. Also keep in mind that if your USB-C cable is rated below 100 watts, like 20 watts or 60 watts, the charging time will take longer since the cable is incapable of 100 watt power delivery. A third way to recharge the T600, which is a faster method, is by combining the two charging methods we just talked about. A unique feature of the T600 is that you can combine both the AC adapter and a 100 watt USB-C charging port to recharge the power station at the same time. The charging time will be cut in half, which is about three and a half hours. So if you're in a hurry to recharge the power station, this third charging method will be really handy and helpful for you. If you're in a location that doesn't have any wall plugs, but still need to recharge a portable power station, there are two more ways you can recharge your T600. The first method is using a solar panel. We recommend using a 100 watt solar panel for the ideal experience. The solar panel should come with a cable like this. And all you need to do is plug in one end of the cable to a T600 input port and the other end into the solar panel. Now place the panel in a bright sunny location to start recharging your power station. Be sure to keep the power station in the shade when charging to avoid overheating the device. Under perfect conditions, it'll take about 8 hours to recharge the unit from 0 to 100%. You can also use other solar panels that are rated less than 100 watt output, but keep in mind that the charge time will be longer and you only have so much light in one day. Another way to recharge the T600 outdoors is to use your car's cigarette lighter or auxiliary power outlet to recharge it. The T600 comes with a car charger like this one. To use your car port to recharge your power station, plug one end into your car's auxiliary power port and the other end into the unit's input port. For this charging method, it'll take about 12 hours to bring the T600 to full power. That's it for this video. We hope you found the information helpful and can use it to unlock the freedom of mobile power with the T600 power station. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. If you have any questions about the T600, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. We hope to catch you in our next video.